Since the end of 2018, we've been receiving DLC characters and content for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For the last couple of years, we've had exciting highs and disappointing lows. But at the end of the day, I am positive that everyone got a little bit of something that they've wanted from this game, from the very beginning with the base roster all the way to now, the end of the DLC. But as we approach the very last character, we have to speculate who this character could be. And obviously, it's extremely hard now to speculate any type of Smash character as most of the time we're always wrong and it's somebody out of the left field that we did not expect. But as the last fighter of the last pass of the ultimate Smash fighting game, who is going to end it all? Before we jump into that discussion, stop what you're doing and make sure that you're subscribed to stay up to date on all things Smash Brothers and Nintendo in general. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, guys, it helps out more than you think. And also, comment down below any opinions that you have throughout the video to help us me to see what you guys are thinking as well. Alright guys, let's get into who the final character could actually be. So the first thing that I want to go over is not the what, but rather the when, as to when this character is going to drop for the final character. We might actually have a clue. Sakurai mentioned in the Kazuya presentation today that it will be a while before the next character announcement. Well, the last character announcement. And normally he doesn't say this. He just says, I'll see you on the next one. Uh, but this time he said it's going to be a little bit. So that makes me think, when is the next character going to be revealed? Now, there is a chance that it could be its own presentation. Sakurai has done that last year, but that was because of COVID. So what is the reasoning this time for that happening? I don't know, he could just have one final big presentation where he announces the character and talks about the character and stuff like that. That's very well likely, but I think there might be more to it. I think this could happen either during a late Nintendo Direct this year or the Game Awards. And I was normally thinking the Nintendo Direct, but with him emphasizing that this is going to be a long time, I don't think a Direct would be that long. We normally have our Direct in September or October, and that's not really a long wait. You know, it's already almost July, so that's not too long. But if he's expecting to reveal this thing during the Game Awards, that can be very long as the Game Awards is the beginning of December, which is a very long time indeed. And if he's waiting for the Game Awards, it's probably going to be a big character, and that means a big third-party character. Now, enough about the win. Let's segue into what this character or who this character is going to be. This is the final character of Smash Ultimate, apparently. Well, according to Sakurai, as he mentioned once again, this is it. This is the final character coming. There will be no more after that. He mentions it multiple times during the presentation this morning. So I think it's pretty safe to say that this is the final character of Smash Ultimate. There's going to be no more packs, no more additional characters. This is it. So who are they going to end on? Now I know a lot of people have mentioned before, Nintendo is known for not really ending on the best of characters. In Smash Brawl, they ended with Sonic, which was actually very huge. It was one of the first third-party characters Nintendo's ever added in Smash Brothers, and lots of people loved it, and especially considering the fact that it was hidden for a while until you've actually beat the story mode all the way to the end, where he appeared for the fight with Taboo. Now Smash 4 is kind of hard to tell who was the last fighter added to the game. I'm not for sure on this one, but I believe it was Duck Hunt as he was one of the only characters that were not revealed instead was trying to be hidden for the game but people leaked ahead of time it was either Duck Hunt or Bowser Jr. for sure we're just gonna say Duck Hunt which clearly isn't a great way to end the roster it was definitely unique but it wasn't a great way but obviously Bayonetta ended Smash 4's roster completely with the DLC which is still up for debate if it was really the character that people voted for the most because Lots of people don't think that's the case, but yeah, we got Bayonetta, which was awesome, but was it the best way to end the pack? Lots of people don't know for sure because of that voting, who really knows who actually won. And then to end Smash Ultimate's base roster, we just had Incineroar. Especially after the Grinch leak, people were getting very excited and we kind of overhyped ourselves, but we got Ken and Incineroar on that last reveal trailer, and we ended on a Pokemon, which was extremely weird. <laughs> but obviously the DLC came around, and at the end of the first pack of DLC, we ended with Byleth. Obviously, you've seen how that went, but obviously Nintendo also knew that Byleth wasn't going to get the reaction that they wanted, so they hurry up and announced a second pack, which was probably already planned, but, you know, nevertheless, it is what ended that first pack and what assumingly ended the Smash DLC at first before we even knew about another pack. So, 
these are the characters that we have that ended our DLC and our base roster, so we can kind of look at these characters and see if it means anything. Personally, it really doesn't. This is a completely different scenario. We are now dealing with the final character in a game that's never going to have this many characters again. This character is actually very important. I know most of us, myself included, don't really care who it's going to be at this point. You know, it's the final character, it is what it is. But I do kind of think that it's going to be somebody very big to end the roster on. This is the final Smash Brothers DLC character for as long as we know. I mean, there's even rumors that we might not even get another Smash game. I think that's blasphemous. There's no possible way Nintendo's going to give up on Smash like that just because Sakurai has retired or moved on. But I just think this means a lot. This is going to be a character that has to have some type of significance. They've had to be saving this character for this moment. Now, of course, we get into prediction time, and we start off with Crash. I think this one is something that I obviously have to start off with because it's a character that people have been asking for for so long. Crash Bandicoot is a character that deserves to be in Smash Brothers. He was there from the very beginning as a video game icon, and he just deserves a spot. Seeing him fight along characters like Mario and Sonic and Mega Man and Pac-Man just feels right at its core. This is a character that should have been in the game already, in my opinion and even in the base roster so I am extremely surprised that this character isn't in the game yet and I would see Crash being a great character to end this off on. It's a character that not only people have been asking for for so long, but it's a character with some significance and with some hype behind him. These two characters I always put in the same category, especially since they're now both owned by Microsoft, being Doom Guy and Master Chief. Both of these characters would be amazing, and I think Master Chief would probably break the internet for good. This would be an amazing way to end the pass, and probably the biggest way to end the pass. I definitely would be kind of surprised that none of these characters made it at the end. Not only, once again, are they extremely requested, but they would have a pretty cool moveset. There's not too many characters at all in the game like Snake that has different type of military weaponry at their hands, but Master Chief and Doom Guy definitely do. And I think they would be great ways to end the pass, and especially great ways to reveal them at maybe even the Game Awards. I think Rayman is another very possible character because of the the Ubisoft and Nintendo collaboration that they always have. They just made another Mario Rabbids game coming next year, so they very well could have some type of rep from their company in the game as well, and Rayman is a definite positive choice. Now, I know he's already in that game Brawlhalla, and lots of people think that means he's just kind of not happening for Smash. He's kind of deconfirmed from one game, but being in the other game... I don't think that's the case, but I don't know if Rayman is going to be big enough to be the final character. Are people really going to lose their minds over Rayman? I think a lot of people will, yes, but at the same time, is it a final character worthy note? I don't know per se. That's really up to the general audience. But Rayman can definitely happen with the Ubisoft's connections and their positive reactions with Nintendo. I think it could happen. Another one I've seen people asking for a lot is another Sonic rep, which is just blasphemous that there isn't. And the fact that there's only like 10 Sonic songs in this game is also a crime in and of itself, especially when there's games like, just now, Tekken announced to have 39 songs. Sonic deserves so much better. It's probably one of the best video game music soundtracks from any video game series I've ever played. But, uh, moving on with the actual character, Dr. Eggman, another villain, Sonic's main villain, a character that just feels like should be in the game, but I still don't think that's a character that they're going to end on. It just doesn't seem right to end with Dr. Eggman. This is a character that could have happened before, but it's just, like, too late for him now, I feel like. I feel like this is just a character that's not big enough to generate an audience hype zone for the final character. I would be hyped for sure, but I'm thinking about the general public when I'm looking at this, and they're going to be upset that this is the final character in a Smash Brothers game, for sure. Now, of course, I have to bring this one back up, but a lot of people think Sora is pretty much deconfirmed now because apparently Sephiroth deconfirms that. Not only is he in the same pass, but he is a Square Enix character, and people are just saying that that's not going to happen. We were lucky enough to get another one of these characters. There is no way we're getting Sora on top of that, and he kind of just put the hopes down for Sora fans. I just thought I'd bring it up just in case. That doesn't really mean anything. He hasn't been a Mii costume or anything, so he's not really deconfirmed. But it's just kind of at the point where I think anything could happen with Sakurai and with the Smash team. And this is a character that has been extremely requested and would probably make everybody lose their minds if somehow they got the rights to Sora from Disney and all that stuff with that company. There's a lot of things going on 
it probably won't happen, but it's something to note. Now, of course, the one first party character that I think could pull this off being Waluigi. If they did some type of crazy thing where they had a cutscene of Waluigi breaking out of the assist trophy, imagine if they rendered all of these different assist trophies in a HD Smash Brothers cutscene fighting each other inside of the assist trophies. That would be amazing. Imagine they're all fighting and then Waluigi ends up killing them all, beating them all, and breaking his way out and becoming an actual fighter. That would be an amazing cutscene in and of itself. But I think everyone collectively would be okay with Waluigi getting into Smash. I think everyone would be happy. Everyone would be excited to see him finally join the roster after so many years. And I don't even think it would matter if it's just a first party Mario character on the side. You know, I think people would be so happy to see Waluigi. Thinking of other first party potential characters, it's just none of them would really feel like a final character to end on. And Waluigi would be that one. This morning, we also got revealed some Mii fighters, which deconfirmed Dante, Shantae, and Lloyd Irving. And when we look at some of the most requested character charts, there are a lot of characters gone now and only a few left. And those characters left are a lot of the characters that I've already previously mentioned. So there's really just a handful of characters left until we reach everybody's expectations. So guys, we are really at the end of this thing. There is going to be one final character left, and whoever it's going to be, it's going to end Smash Ultimate and probably be the last character of a roster this big that Nintendo ever makes in a Smash Brothers game, or really any game, again. This is a very special, exciting time to speculate one last time, one final time for this character. So speculate, have fun, predict, and let's get ready for the final character. Kazuya comes out tomorrow. It's going to be super exciting as we wait for the final reveal, but let me know in the comments down below who you want to see in Smash Ultimate as the final fighter. If you want to join our Discord, the link is in the description down below where you can chat about Smash and other things Nintendo with me and the community. And also feel free to follow me on other social medias. They're all in the links in the description. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. It helps out more than you think. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.